Well, good morning, guys. I'm um, continuing on with sort of the battery series. Uh, it's later in the afternoon from when I shot the other video. Uh, but I want to get these batteries unboxed and I want to check the conditions of them and just to kind of give you guys a rundown of what I'm looking at, what I'm hoping to build, and what you can expect to order from that company and what they're going to look like when they get here. Um, I am going to wait to get all the charging and stuff done as uh, it is crazy cold. It's currently I think 20 some degrees out this morning. It's just trying to warm up. And I know that those batteries are probably equally as cold sitting in shipping containers and shipping trucks all over the world. So as they finally made it their way back to Oregon um, for the final resting place in the Avenger bus, I got to get them warmed up before we can do anything uh, for the lithiums because you can damage them that way. So uh, we will continue on in this series. I'm also still looking to order a few things uh, down the road for this build. So the videos may be uh, intermittent as we start this part of the series uh, with the Adventure Bus, but let's see what the batteries look like from the shipping. Well, welcome back guys. I made sure I don't have any personal information on this box. Um, I've already opened the other one, but I wanna give you an idea of what the packaging looked like. Uh, it looks like this went through a company called Sino US out of uh, Hawthorne, California. I believe it was Hawthorne. But as I mentioned in the other video, uh, you don't really get a great update on shipping information. The boxes themselves um, were fantastic. And forgive the kind of mess in the background, we're completely renovating our kitchen, which is always fun. But I did put the date on here. Uh, this was the 25th, this one came, and the other one came a few days earlier. So quite a bit of some foam packing, looks like from all sorts of different versions. And then let's just pull out, looks like, they're packaged in double cells. Ah, there we go. So I'm going to be careful opening this. And these are pretty hefty, actually. So <laughs> first things first, we've got some... Uh, some of their repackaging doesn't look like it's stuck or somebody was maybe inspecting it uh, perhaps one of the customs guys let's see if any of these are like that let's check more than one but you can see those 280 amp hour cells they're they're a hefty little unit try to give you a kind of overall impression all the packaging looked really good and again forgive the mess here in the background but I definitely have this one is peeled up and a couple of the bottom pieces that got glued on have peeled up a little bit so I'm not entirely sure if that was through customs it seems like that would be kind of odd or if it's just overall repackaging now uh, the other thing you kind of look for is the terminals which i'll try to put in a close-up but the terminals themselves are not crazy rough um, this one looks like it's been resurfaced it doesn't really have scratches but it kind of looks like it was resurfaced including the plastic area so that leads me to believe that they, maybe these aren't grade a uh, cells as well as a few of the others here we'll just Give you a quick walk through. So, I don't know, that's kind of the overall initial impression. We'll get a voltmeter out and see. Now, this is the middle of the winter and these are crazy cold, so we won't even be uh, looking to balance or charge these of any kind until I can get these warmed up a little bit. Um, only from the storage and the delivery, I know that they're quite cold at the moment. But also, if you look at the form factor, you know, my hand here, the density of these, if they truly are 280 amp hour a piece at 3.2, so basically this is a 12 volt battery and this is a 12 volt battery. So we're looking at close to 600 amp hours in the size of two 100 amp hour batteries that you normally purchase. So I'm pretty excited about the potential of what we can do with this, even if these are grade B cells, even if these don't quite get to 280 amp hours, what they do get to, I'm sure, will still be much, uh, much more than I need on the bus. So I'm still pretty excited for the price and what we're going to do. 
So we got to get these balanced. We got to get them charged. I got to get a BMS for them. There's a lot of things that we still got to do down the road, but there's overall packaging, shipping, and their condition, which isn't great. Um, you know, this is, this is not a happy feeling to see this sort of stuff or, or resurfaced terminals. So, uh, hopefully the disappointments don't continue on down the road as we finish this build series. So stay tuned guys. Thanks for all the love and support. You guys are amazing. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the adventure on social media, and we'll see you on the road.